Santa Monica is a city in itself, so it's not part of Los Angeles. Beautiful, big, white sand beaches, mountains behind you, sunshine, blue skies, nice breeze. I mean, not much more you could ask for. I grew up in Santa Monica with a French grandmother who used to always cook, you know, leg of lamb with flageolet beans. And then my mother had a catering company, so she was always cooking out of the house. We are really a special occasion restaurant. We serve contemporary American cuisine with French influences. The farmer's market is a major part of Melis. I actually started going there with my mom 25 years ago. It's where most of our food comes from. After going to this market for so many years, I know all the suppliers, I know all the vendors. The relationships I forge is really important. I'll be preparing wild king salmon with crushed zucchini, hibiscus butter, lemon basil broth, and a little seared California porcini mushroom. When we serve great food to our guests, we can tell they're enjoying it. Usually the table goes quiet. I think it's a pretty progressive city. It's always been a little bit avant-garde. Main Street's always been quite quirky shopping. We definitely have kept the old architecture, the old buildings, and the development's been really kept to a minimum. So it keeps the original flat, low lining, and not all piled up on top of each other. We always have had palm trees. Do you think palm trees? Santa Monica. We have a bike right on the beach. We can go roller skating. We can go surfing, drive two hours and be skiing. So it's definitely an out and about, have fun community. Santa Monica Pier has become one of the iconic landmarks. It's all lit up at night. The way the sun sets far over the ocean is just amazing. The colors in the sky, just you in the ocean, you in the waves, it's really fun. Santa Monica, it's where I'm from and it's where I'll be.